Hello, Russ of Aquarimax here, and today my son and I are going to set up a new enclosure for his corn snake. Eventually he'll be going into a 40 gallon bioactive setup, but since he's pretty young and small, for now we're just setting him up in a 20 gallon long. When we first adopted our corn snake back in October, he came with an enclosure, and in many respects the enclosure was fine, but there were two issues that we had to address right away. The most important were the fact that uh, with the heat panel that the enclosure came with, it did come with a rheostat, which allows you to adjust the temperature to some degree. You can turn it up and turn it down, but it's really not as reliable or as precise as a thermostat. So we got a thermostat. And you can see the ceramic uh, water dish in here. Originally, it came with a much smaller water dish that was kind of pitted, and I was worried that the pitting would be harboring uh, bacteria and so on. So we got rid of that water dish and replaced it with this larger ceramic one, which is much easier to clean. Other than that, this 20 gallon high could have made an adequate home for the snake for some time, as he's still pretty young and pretty small. But we decided to move him uh, for two reasons. One was that uh, by moving him upstairs, the ambient temperature is just a little bit warmer, so he can be uh, more comfortable that way. And the other is that a 20 gallon high uh, doesn't provide as much footprint as this 20 gallon long. And he will definitely make use of all that extra space on the ground. So let's take a look at all of the equipment that we're going to be using as we put together this enclosure. First, we've got this UltraTherm heating mat. This is the 11 inch by 11 inch model. We decided on this one because it fits nicely in the bottom of the enclosure. And occupies about one third of the enclosure on the bottom there, so it'll provide a nice heat gradient for the snake. And we will of course be using a thermostat. This is the thermostat that we purchased to use in the previous enclosure, a jump start. It's a popular model to be used with uh, lots of reptiles. To make sure that the snake cannot escape, we have this wire mesh lid and very importantly, cage clips um, so that we can securely uh, fasten that lid. We will, of course, be using the hides and the water dish that we had in the existing enclosure. And here we need to turn the tank over onto its side so we can access the bottom where we'll be taping the UltraTherm heater. Now, unlike some other popular under tank heaters, these do not come with any adhesive, which is a feature that I like because it means they're more easily removable. It just means you need to supply your own tape when you do want to attach them. And as you can see here, that heat mat occupies about a third of the vivarium. Perfect. The next step is the placement of the thermostat probe. We run it down through the back corner there, and there's a little suction cup that attaches it so that it's going to be right on top of the heat mat. Okay. Really good placing? Yep, that looks good. Okay, so the next step, we're going to tape down the wire of the um, thermostat probe so it's not in the way. All the tape involved in securing the uh, probe here is on the outside of the enclosure that's safest for the snake. And now we will plug in the thermostat and we're going to set it. And we're going to go for about 85 degrees. It's now at 78. Okay, so now we will plug in the heat mat. All right, and in the next few minutes, that should warm up nicely. We'll give it a check in just a couple of minutes. And after a few minutes, as I was hoping, the temperature is right about where it needs to be at a target temperature of 85 degrees Fahrenheit. And now it's time to add the aspen bedding. Note that we use aspen as opposed to pine or cedar, which contain substances that can harm snakes. As you can see, there's a nice layer of aspen bedding all across the bottom of the enclosure. And now it's time to add the hides and the water dish. I'm gonna put this coconut hut right over here by the probe because the snake really um, seems to prefer this as a warm hide. Put this over here as a 
cool hide option. And this is another cool hide. Put over here, maybe we'll put some of it so a corner of it is warm. And the cor corner of it is cool. Go ahead and put the water dish in. Here he is. And now it's time to add Mr. Skeletal himself, our corn snake. He'll make himself right at home, I'm sure. And now we'll add the mesh lid. We have to be careful not to crush the uh, thermostat probe wire here. So over that side. And the corners are made so that you can do that. It works fairly nicely. Okay, I dropped a clip again. So now we're gonna put the clips on. It's important to make sure that the clips are properly fastened. This uh, portion, there's kind of a, a lip that needs to go under in this little edge here between the frame and the mesh. And then this clips and attaches um, under the frame of the aquarium. And we do one of those on both sides and that keeps the snake from escaping. And there it is. The enclosure is pretty basic, but that's a nice thing about corn snakes is that they don't need a lot of frills. We will be probably adding some branches for him to climb on and so on. But uh, for now, it's a very good home for our little corn snake. Thanks for watching today. I post videos every Friday and Wednesday, all on aquarium and vivarium pets. Please feel free to share, rate, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then click the bell icon so you don't miss my next video.